In today's masterclass, we are going to have our second video looking at chart patterns. So this is the second video. Previously, we looked at reversal patterns. And then in this second video, we're going to take a look at continuation patterns. So let's have a recap on chart patterns. A chart pattern is the distinct formation on a chart that signals a potential for future price movement. So it's a pattern on a chart that gives us an idea, a clue of what future price levels are going to be. Technical analysts use these patterns to identify current trends, but also to highlight trend reversals and for buy and sell signals and opportunities. There are two types of patterns, reversal and continuation patterns. Previously, we've taken a look at reversal patterns. And in this series, in this video, we will now be taking a look at continuation patterns. So a continuation pattern signals that a prior trend will continue and extend upon completion of the pattern. These continuation patterns fall into distinct categories, triangles, flags and pennants. Of triangle patterns, we have three categories of triangle patterns, symmetrical triangles, ascending triangles and descending triangles. The symmetrical triangle is a pattern in which two trend lines converge towards each other. This pattern is neutral and a breakout to the upside or downside is a confirmation of a trend in that direction. However, the probability is higher that the underlying prior trend will continue. So in this case here, let's look at the infographic on the right first of all. The market is in a downtrend. The market then goes into a symmetrical triangle. So we have lower highs here and higher lows, defining the symmetrical triangle. And the market could break out in either direction. But what tends to happen is the underlying trend, which in this case was lower, the market will tend to be a continuation pattern and more likely break to the downside. So here we have an actual real example from the, the Australian dollar in here. So in this case, this is in 2018, July through August, the market was in this symmetrical triangle pattern. So converging lines in here, trend lines, having been in a primary downtrend previous to that in earlier through 2000, the first half of 2018, and then the market breaking to the downside out of this symmetrical triangle for a bearish continuation. An ascending triangle, the upper trend line is flat, while the bottom trend line is upward sloping. This generally is thought of as a bullish pattern in which we would look for an upside breakout. And again, primarily with the underlying trend in this case being an up or bull trend. The underlying prior trend would ideally be higher. So in here, we have in the infographic here on the right, we have a prior uptrend. The market then goes into the consolidation pattern in here. So it's the ascending triangle, the lows, we have successive higher lows, but the highs are all at the same kind of area. So it's an ascending triangle. The prior trend was higher and the likely breakout is then to the upside. And here we have a, ch a chart of the daily ASX 200. The market was principally in an uptrend. We then go into this ascending triangle, higher lows with the peaks here around the same levels. And then the market eventually breaking higher to continue the uptrend, a continuation pattern. Let's take a look now at the descending triangle. In a descending triangle, the lower trend line is flat in this case, and the upper trend line is downward sloping or descending. Generally seen as a bearish pattern where chartists, technical analysts will look for a downside breakout. And so we're here, we're looking at usually the underlying prior trend would ideally be a downtrend. So in here, again, looking at the infographic on the right, the market previously in a downtrend, the lows in here all at the same level. So we have a horizontal line for the trend line. Then we have lower highs. So we have a downward sloping upper trend line for a descending triangle with a prior downtrend. And we would look for the likelihood is that we get a negative resolution. So a breakdown through the lows here for a continuation of the prior downtrend. And here again with the daily ASX 200 chart, the market previously in here in a downtrend, we have a descending triangle, so lower highs. And you can see the lows around the same level here. And then that happens June through July. And then in Ju late July through early August, we have an acceleration lower to continue a continuation pattern of the previous downtrend. 
We're now going to look at flags and pennants. We'll look at these both to, at the same time together. So the flag and the pennant are sh a similar short term continuation chart patterns, but on a shorter term basis, similar to triangle patterns here. They are formed though after a very sharp movement, followed then by a sideways consolidation. These patterns are complete with another sharp price movement, usually, mostly, and predominantly in the same direction as the initial move. So a continuation pattern. For a pennant, the consolidation is characterized by converging tr um, trend lines, so similar to a small symmetrical triangle, but after a sharp move initially. The consolidation for the flag pattern is a channel pattern or kind of a, a rectangle pattern. Usually, though, a flag, a small channel pattern in the opposite direction to the initial underlying trend. The trend is expected to continue when the price breaks out. With the objective, be, the objective for the um, for the target for the breakout of the pattern, the um, original move um, projected higher. So we'll take a look at that now. So here we have a here we have a um, flag, and here we have excuse me here we have a pennant pa a pattern, and here are flags, so flags and pennants. The market in the underlying uptrend initially, then goes into this kind of channel consolidation and then eventually breaking through the top. And we would look for this distance here to be replicated to the extension higher here. And here we have a similar breakout here from the flag. Here we have the pennant, the market in a channel sideways, having been in a downtrend. So it's a bear flag here or a bear pennant, the market breaking out. And similarly here we have the small triangle for the flag pattern. And again, the, the initial move, so this will be an accelerated move, we would anticipate the projection lower to be from the breakout point, the same distance that we've had this accelerated move here and here, and previously in the bull flag and the bull pennants here and here. So to conclude, concluding in summary, continuation patterns we've looked at in today's video, in today's masterclass, triangles, flags, and pennants. This has been Steve Miley for The Bull, and please do join us again on thebull.com.au and thebull.asia. Stay bullish.